my name is Rob White. I'm firefighter in Durham Down Fire and Rescue Service, and I've been in the service now 17 years. On returning uh, back on duty, I found out people were talking about us. Instead of actually just coming and asking what was happening, they were worried about what I'd be like back on duty. I've been doing this role for nearly half my lifetime and I pride myself on being a good firefighter. So for people to worry about me being a firefighter and how I would do my job, yeah, that was really annoying. I felt more hurt that these were people who were friends, colleagues, people I've known us for a long time people I know in personal life and it was purely because they don't understand because there isn't enough information out there and people aren't talking about it. People assume a firefighter is a machine and to an extent they're right. The firefighter is. We go out and we deal with whatever we have to, whatever's in front of us we will deal with. It's when you come home and there are some things you can't switch off and that's what gets to you. They had a, a massive impact on us, especially socially. Firefighters who've been friends for a long time just didn't contact us whether they were afraid or frightened they might say the wrong thing. I had people who did keep in contact and I realised who were or who are much better friends than what I realised at the time. But it, it, it left us feeling alone, it left us feeling isolated because who else is going to understand the way I was feeling? than another firefighter who has dealt with situations but people don't understand. People need to talk more. You see somebody struggling, talk to them, ask them why they're struggling. If somebody tells you that there is an issue, try and help with that issue if you can see a change in that person, do something about it. Too many people will just shy away from it because they don't understand. So we need more information out there. There are lots of people who have been where I am and who have come through it. And they are the best, best people you can go to they have the information and they also have the understanding. The understanding is the biggest part. I would like other firefighters, if they are in this service, who feel like they're in difficulty, could actually just come to me and go, yeah, this is what's happening. At least then I can at least help, at least try and help. This is the whole point of me doing this video. The only thing I want from it is to try and help somebody else. And there is no quick fix to this. I know this. It's taken me a long time to realize this because I expect it straight away. So I'll have good days. I'll have bad days. But it's learning to deal with things. You learn to put coping strategies in place. With a coping strategy, I can deal with anything. That's the personal side. Work side, I put the uniform on. No matter what happens, I deal with it. I go home, then I've got to properly deal with it. 